academic wise i am a trained clinical psychologist and a psychotherapist i've been in private practice a large chunk of my work revolves around relationships couples marriage parenting and family uh, i also teach a course uh, which is about how to counsel yourself and also how to learn to counsel others to put it very briefly it's called art and science of self actualization uh, i also do workshops for uh, groups and organizations and corporates um, and i'm based in hyderabad oh the whole range <laughs> range of issues i think any any issue that happens to you because you're a human being so it could be uh, a general angst about who am i where am i why am i here to i'm not um, able to get the kind of job i want i'm not able to have the kind of marriage i want i'm not being a good parent uh, anything you name it it's there uh, but a large uh, portion of my work nowadays speci- especially has moved to what i call the midlife crisis or existential crisis issues where um, increasingly younger and younger people are beginning to have this um, have to confront this question of all of this for what so you start with uh, do your 10th well do your boards well get your entrances right get into the best schools get the best jobs preferably get a good girlfriend get married have children have a house have a car and now what right so that quest actually is um, something that really really keep, keeps me interested and excited about the work i do and also um, an equally big portion of my work is relationships and marriages um, we seem to be literally hurtling towards a stage where uh, marriage i'm afraid may actually become obsolete uh, given the unbelievably complex uh, issues and confusions that are happening in that institution um, it's not as simple as oops i got attracted to somebody can you help me how to stay back in my marriage it's just a whole explosion of confusion going on so that's also extremely enriching and rewarding uh once we recognize how uh, what drives people to do certain things and how they can use even that as a mirror to themselves as a path to self discovery and as a path to actually really come into their own who they are so even a difficult marriage can be like a hero or a heroine's journey where it's a right of passage to find out who you really are so that's the nature of my work It's interesting you're asking that question because I would think less than ten percent of people have act of my clients have actually reached out saying I'm dealing with bereavement or death of a loved one or death of a parent as you are asking, um, which is intriguing to me because uh, of all the traumatic events in life, losing a loved one to death, especially a family member. is rated as the top most stress uh, causing event a life event it's called a life event right so it's intriguing that i can't say that too many people actually directly come to me saying i've lost someone help me deal with it oh yes oh absolutely yes so so indirectly yes but i i was just uh, struck by your question that is never the first entry point for seeking counseling uh so yes issues in relationships issues in self motivation issues in depression anxiety um uh especially social anxiety um or, or any 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 kind of issue can actually tag back to an unresolved grief unresolved experience of grief oh yes i think uh, many of us are in a hurry to quickly close it and move on and it tends to linger somewhere in the psyche and show up in perverted distorted ways in various behavioral challenges and psychological challenges yes answer that in um, slightly elaborate way if you don't mind uh, in two different ways so partly yes it is a modern phenomenon because the modern is associated with quick fast and more 
So it's like, can I quickly finish this and can I go and do some more of what I'm already doing? So in that way, yes, it's a modern phenomenon. Alongside the uh, the trend to not really honor all the traditional rituals that are associated with death and bereavement, uh, but also there's another uh, facet to this, which is to do with the essential um, masculine or patriarchal approach to everything in life. So what is modern, what is corporate, what is capitalistic, all of these, if you really sift them down to a core essence of it, it is to do with patriarchy and um, the masculine approach to life, right? So it doesn't work, chop it off, get on with, get on with things, that kind of thing. So I think um, when you ask that question, it is to do with uh, if you're a man, then you're supposed to grin and bear it, have a strong shoulder, take it on, and move on quickly and be strong for the others. That is a um, that's a mandate. And women, unconsciously, for all their fight about feminism and equality and whatever, unconsciously have those as the standards for uh, for competing, for being there, or for being seen as equal or valid. So it's a very uh, vicious kind of a cycle. It perpetrates, yes. yes. 